Ready? <laughs> Hi everybody. Welcome back to my Sage 4 journey. It's, uh, I don't even know the date. It's Saturday, July 30th. Sunday. Sunday, I'm sorry. Sunday, July 30th. 31st. 31st. <laughs> See, I'm way off. I'm way off. That's the kind of week it's been for me. It's been a kind of a crazy week. I'm going to head and start heading out the door so Cheryl can lock up. And uh, it was a crazy week for me. I ended up back in the hospital on Monday. Uh, my oncologist up in Hershey said I should go into the emergency room because of my PET scan results showing um, um, the pancreatitis. And when I got to the hospital, once again, all the testing there at that hospital showed that there was no pancreatitis. So very little they're very 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 little and i think what both the doctors said it, well one the one doctor said at the emergency room and on college agreed that it was probably pancreatitis when i was having those worst pains and um it's worked itself out so um that's a good thing but i'm just just not feeling up to par but we are on our way to vacation we're going on vacation <laughs> So I'm excited about that, even though I'm super tired and uh, I, I'm very excited, but we don't get to go to this place very often. And if you do uh, watch my, my channel, if you have paid attention to my channel, you probably might be able to figure it out. We will give you some clues on the way down and I'm gonna start giving you some clues right now. We've got the real deal loaded up and ready to go because we're the deals we are the deals we have a real deal we have the real the real deal so there's clue number one and no it's not the river um but uh stay tuned and uh i'm probably going to be putting uh, uh several days into one uh so you might not see this video for several days but uh Come along with us on vacation, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. So hang in there, and we will see you in a little bit. Bye. Okay, everybody, we're back, and uh, we're about ready to give you uh, another clue of where we're headed. I'm not going to give you the name of it, but uh, we'll show it to you here. And if you're from our area, you're most likely going to know what it is. So I'm going to hand the camera over to Cheryl, and she's going to show you So that was the second clue and like I said, I'm not going to give you the name of the bridge we just crossed And the third and final clue I guess I'm gonna have for y'all is that uh, We're almost there um, We're about another 30 minutes And uh, we'll be there and when we get there uh, We'll be back to um, show you where we're gonna end up. So Hang in there, and we'll be back in a little bit. Bye. Well, we made it. We're here. Finally. It took us about four hours, a little bit longer than we thought, what we thought, but... Mom, Dad's already here. 
Ant nail hasn't been introduced yet. How's Ant nail? I'm fine. Fine. Welcome to the beach. Yeah. I guess we could call it, we'll still call it the beach. This is my Ant nail, everybody. And uh, she lives in uh, uh, Elizabeth Town. So it's a couple hours from us. So we don't get to see her very much anymore, but uh, we're glad to have her here on vacation with us for sure. So, but I think we'll be able to handle this place for the week, huh? We certainly can. Yeah. Yeah, I think this would suit just fine. Looks like they got some new pool furniture. But uh, we stayed here last year and, and we enjoyed it. It's a little far out. We're in a little town called Cambridge, Maryland. Right on the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, our house is uh, on the chop tank river sanctuary and it's a bunch of fingers coming up through there around cambridge on the southern side of cambridge and uh fishing wasn't real good last year crabbing was okay i'm still learning the area for fishing but uh it's worth it walk out here and check out the dock a little far walk to the dock but we're all the way back here at the end. At uh, the end of this little cove. So it's quiet. It's really quiet. And uh, there's eagles flying around and osprey. And uh, it's just very, very peaceful back here. So. Yeah, there goes an eagle right there. There goes an eagle right there. So we're not here a couple minutes and we already got an eagle. Hopefully he lives around here and we'll be able to watch him all week. Looks like it's high tide right now. I gotta go down to a little town called uh, Madison and put my boat in there. It's about Eight mile boat drive from the public boat ramp, but it's not too bad. But uh, the wind's picking up, so I don't think we're going to get the boat on today. Probably they're calling for rain tomorrow. Might not get the boat on tomorrow yet either, but. Uh, We'll get her on here sometime this week, but uh, in the meantime, we got two crab traps. And then, uh, of course, I brought my own crab traps and uh, fishing rods, and we'll uh, get them pots in the water here real soon. I went to the local butcher shop up home and asked them if they had any chicken necks, and they looked at me like I was crazy because back home, Nobody uses chicken necks anymore, so um, Luckily they had Some frozen and I bought about eight pounds of chicken necks For I think they were two dollars and fifty five cents for two pounds each and then down here They're uh, like four fifty to five dollars for uh, about six or seven chicken necks, which is about maybe a half a pound so we got lucky and i got chicken necks and this should last us most of the week but uh this is be our view for the week like i said we're back here in the cove and it's nice and quiet and uh so i hope you guys uh, stick around this week we got some other things planned to do of course one my favorite things to do is jeep rides and we're going to go for a jeep ride down to the blackwater wildlife refuge and do some bird uh, watching and uh, 
just drive around and, and check it out and um, relax. Um, be spending some full time with the family and uh, it's kind of sad because at one time on our family vacations there would be close to 30 of us together smashed in the house and uh, we'd have all all my aunts and uncles and nieces and nephews and my grandma and of course mom and dad and of course my sisters my two sisters and their families and it was just a lot of fun um, you know we're losing a lot more family members we've lost a lot of family members so we just don't have the numbers we used to anymore and a lot of the, the nieces and nephews are going on to do their own thing with their own families um, we just don't have the numbers I think this year it's just going to be my mom and my dad and, and my, my aunt Nellie and, and my sister Karen and I think her one son Paul is going to be coming down towards the end of the week and I think my mom said that um, her sister uh, my aunt Kathy and Uncle Bert will be down uh, on Tuesday so they're going to stay for a couple days so we'll have a couple more coming down but uh, I miss the old days where we had a bunch of us together and we just had so much fun and uh, enjoyed all of our time together and hopefully one of these days we can get everybody back together and do that again so I'm looking forward to that but in the meantime we're going to make the best of it this week we're going to try some uh, fishing we're going to try some crabbing and we're going to try some relaxing so I hope you guys stick around for this week I probably will try to do this in a couple different videos um, I don't know what our internet is like down here I can't remember what it was like last year so it might take a while uh, to get some stuff out so I might have to wait until we get home to do uh, some of the videos too so anyhow all right with all that said stick around and we will see you later this week so talk to you then I there he goes absolutely beautiful beautiful and then there's a crane right there taking off well here we are on Monday we haven't got the boat in the water yet. Uh, we're gonna put it in this evening, I hope. But we're out here doing some crabbing off the dock, watching the eagles. Let's check these traps here. Go ahead and pull it out, Dad. I wanna add some chicken to it. We'll go ahead and flip that over and put some of the big chicken in it. There's a knife there for cutting the Cheryl is the crab whisperer. Here, crab, 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 crab. <laughs> but uh, we caught one, one keeper so far. We had a couple keepers in yesterday, and I didn't realize that they lowered the um, measurement for keepers on uh, on the blue crabs here in Maryland. It used to be five and a quarter inches across from point to point and now it's five inches and I threw two away yesterday that were five inches and I threw them away because they weren't five and a quarter so hopefully you got a big claw in there man there's a claw in there just feel that sucker Ooh. well that's good feel that sucker wow. up if there was smell of vision right now mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> I said, if there were smell of vision right now. Wow. Oh. You get two of them in there? Pretty ripe. That's cool. That'd be funny. You gonna try to get another one in it? Oh, you wanna save it? Nah, that's fine. Uh, no, that's, that's fine. Now, is there some crabs that we need to dump out of this one? Yep. 
There was three crabs in there, but they're not big enough at all. So we're just going to dump them back out. Let's see what Cheryl's doing over here. She's going to go ahead and tie these new pieces of chicken. There should be enough string there to reuse on it. And use, use the chicken necks in them. Save this chicken for the for the other one. Tie it tight so they don't walk with it. Gonna get a big one. Come here. <laughs> yeah. Come here. I said we should have brought a rag down. We need to bring a rag and what else do we need down here? That's about it, huh? Grease for your pole. Oh yeah. Pole. I need to bring the the uh, WD forty down. Okay. All right, well we're gonna let them soak a little bit. And uh we'll be back here and crap, 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 crap. to check them out here in a little bit, so we'll be back to see you. Okay, here we are at a little town called Madison. Um, I think it's, Mad it's Madison Bay out there, and this is where we're going to put the boat on the water. So here we go. This ought to be interesting. Dave, do you want to go over there and unhook that strap, please? Yep. What in the world was that? Something come up there, it's an alligator. It's a Something Loch Ness. It Loch Ness monster. Probably a big old snake. And if it is, this chickie is not. <laughs> it's gonna hightail it out. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I'm not getting in the water. <laughs> it was probably a skate. That's all I ever catch is a skate. Yeah, that's probably what it was. Since you did it two or three times before, we'll let you do it. I've done it a couple times. <laughs> Just don't let me do it. Okay, you're gonna hold. You're gonna be the official holder. Yeah. Well, Lasso. Um, oh, I gotta do the engine first. What See, what I'm in charge. I've got to take this. We got the plug in. Yeah. <laughs> I put the plug in at the house. That is important. Yeah, it's a little important. Yeah. Now when I when it comes off, you're gonna 
would be the only thing that holding it. Don't let go. You're floating. You're floating. You're good. And that's how you do it. Okay, I'll get down in here and see if I can get her running. Oh, yeah. My phone's right there. I always have my sea legs. <clears throat> Alright, come on down. You ready for me? Yep. Okay, you want to get that, that rope from Dad and bring that down in here? Carol, put your seatbelt on. Yeah. Okay. There's a life jacket. It's, uh, there's a, two life jackets under there, and there's two life jackets up Fingers under there. Fingers crossed. Huh? What? What did you say? No. No. I said yeah. fingers crossed. Hold on. Take that, take that rope. What's going on with that? No, uh, she just... The lock nest was tied up in it. Is it... Okay, we're good. We're good. Just need to lube up a little bit. It's been a while since it's been turned. Okay, we're good. We'll take that right back. All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Where'd my phone go? I don't know what you did with it, honey. You already there did it something is. with Hold it. Hold on. <laughs> okay. We're off. Bye. Okay. I uh, hope I'm not putting my button in my face. You got the Jeep keys, right? You got the keys, right?
I'd ever get back out on here. Well, this is short I'd ever get back out here. This is my happy place right here. I love it. It's not too hot. Look, the water's almost like glass. Sunset usually about every evening. And, uh, He's so romantic. Well, I enjoy it. I take mom out. I take it Aunt Dale out. 
everybody should get a turn this week. I hope everybody get a, get a turn this week. Just to be in nature. Not not everybody gets a turn every 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 year we get to go, but uh, I enjoy it. I wish I had just a little bit bigger boat where we could fit just a couple more people in, but we we'll yeah. use what we got. But uh, there's he the old wants one. a pontoon. Captain Blackbeard flag over there flying. So. And I do not see the eagle, so it must not have been the eagle. Unless he took off, he may have taken off. I thought Karen would be waiting for us. She didn't want to come down and get eaten by the skeeters. Skeeters. Try not to fall. Get hold of us. Yeah. Oh, and she's got us. Woo! All right, yeah, just that's fine. Uh, just here, just pull me in. All right, I'm going to get off of here and tie this boat up right, and then I'll be back. So I hope you guys enjoyed your boat ride, and we'll be right back. Okay, so the boat is all tied up for the night. I'll come back down and check it later. I always like to check it a few times, but yes, it looks does. like we're going to have a beautiful sunset tonight, unfortunately. We got to get now go back and pick up Mom and Dad down at the boat ramp because... Nobody felt comfortable pulling the boat trailer with the Jeep, and I understand it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. So we're gonna head down there and pick mom and dad back up and uh, call it a night. And hopefully we'll get back out on the water tomorrow and get started fishing. And the boat ran great. The boat ran great. I have to get some lube for the steering, um, but that's not a big deal. It's, it's working fine. It ran great. Yay. And, uh, so we'll catch you back tomorrow and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the boat ride and we'll see you tomorrow. So Gators are biting. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Hi everybody. Yeah, we're back. It's uh, the next day. It's Tuesday and uh, it's Tuesday evening. We just had a, a quick thunderstorm roll through and uh, we've got a couple hours of sunlight, so we're gonna go out and try a little crab and fishing. So we thought we'd take you along. So come on, let's go catch some fish. But first we're gonna try these crab traps out here and see what happens. I just wanted to check first. I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. One more. Crabby crab crab. Are we still six feet? It's a, a little over, almost seven feet, but that's fine. You want five, five to ten feet of water. Not much. Not long. really ten feet, but we're fine. Six, six point eight. That's fine. As long as that string wasn't all tangled up. All right, so let's just go up here on the other side of this dock, and we'll start fishing up along the bank. 
We got a catch. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's what we're after right there. Is that a white perch? That is a white perch. All right. I told you he was going to hit this. I don't think I'm going to quite save him yet. Ooh, I got something. I got yeah, well, sit the camera down. Here, give it to me. <laughs> reel, reel it in. I might, I might keep him if you uh, got something. Nope. All right, well. Keep him. Well, that's just more work I got to do, and I don't know. Catch more. I don't think I'm ready to have to do all that right now. I'm just, I'm just happy to, to get a fish. We know they're here, and it's not that big of a fish. But they're here. That's what we're after. We can get some more. If we start reeling one in after the other, then yeah, I'll start keeping it for right now. We're gonna go check the crab pots. See what's up with them. This is where the crab whisperer does her best work right here. Mm -mm. I think I might have screwed this one up. Yeah, we got it. Perfect. Crab, 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 crab. No, nope. nope. bring it in. It doesn't have much one. chicken on it, that's why. What? Those chicken ne necks aren't that great. Well, it looks like they were nibbling on them. Mm-hmm. I think it's minnow fish that are doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Crab, crab, crab. <laughs> Oh yeah! Look at that big That's boy. That's a big one. Something in there. Woo! Oh yeah! Drop that one back down in there. Huh? Drop that one back down in there. That's a big one. Mm hmm I'll measure it here in a minute. I'm sure he's big. Yeah, I'm sure he is. That's why I'm not rushing to do it, but I'll try to get the rest of these up here and we'll. I didn't bring the live well bucket. So we just have to keep them all in that basket if we have to. Oh yeah, he's gonna be big enough then too. Nope, that one back. I think so too, so far, yeah. Mm -mm. It's because of the talented crab whisperer. <laughs> it feels heavy. 
It's an itty bitty. Okay, yeah. just let him out. Is that a female? Yeah, it looks like it. Let that one out. And you can go ahead and drop it back in. Because well, we know that. they're in this area. And then I guess we'll just go over this way a little bit and fish and watch that sunset right there. Hmm? Yeah. I don't even have to fish. I can just sit here and, and watch that. I like fishing the bank. She likes fishing the deep, so... We're going to be running out of sunlight here soon. Mm -hmm. The water is turning out to be like glass. Give you a 360 degree view. Oh, I forgot about them crabs. I got to check them. You can hear their feathers. <laughs> I could have heard on videos. Uh -huh. If you all can see the crescent moon up there, but it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love this place. I love it. And the company's better. <laughs> it definitely makes it better. Okay, here we go. We're going to pick the crab traps up for one last time tonight out here. It's getting dark. I guess we probably could stay out for another run, but that's up to you, honey, if you want to. get it? Yeah, crab, 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 crab. Nope. It out like it was going to be good out here. It's going to be. We still got to four more three more yeah 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 positive thinking nice and cool oh it's beautiful it's, night out it is a beautiful night the storm really cooled things off mm, feels heavy and you said that the last one itty bitty you want to measure yeah, dump it in there. It looks big enough. I'll measure it. Yeah, it might be a keeper. It was. Mm. We'll check it when we get back. Once we get this other one, I'll check it before we get... It looks like it's going to be kind of iffy. It's going to be close. Huh? It's going to be close. It is, yeah. So, we'll get this last basket up and then I'll check it. Dump that one out, it's a female anyhow. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna call it a night. We're gonna get head back to the house. Call it a night, and I'm gonna call this a video. I'm hoping to get this out um in the next few days so um i hope you all in, are enjoying our vacation with us and um thanks for coming along
it's been it's been a good week. I, I I've been eating better down here, and I guess it's just where I'm at and who I'm with. So I, I do feel a lot better so far this week. I'm tired. I've still been sleeping in till lunchtime, but uh, yeah. With all that said, I hope you guys are enjoying my journey, our journey this week, um, while we're down here at the eastern shore. And I think I cut churro out there a little bit, but I'm sorry about that, honey. But uh, yeah, I, I uh, check back in after this one, and uh, hopefully tomorrow we're going to be going for a jeep ride. And uh, um, so every day's been better and better. Better and better. So um, it's been feeling better. So stick around for the next episode of my stage four journey, and we'll see y'all then. Bye.